Mr. Beast, the Kim Jong-un of YouTube. He donates money, gives away cars, and makes you feel poor. For years, he's been the undisputed face of YouTube, but in the last year, Mr. Beast has run into some serious issues with the public. I want to find out how you could hate a man that could buy the entire African continent. So today, we're going to do our best to explore how Mr. Beast became enemy number one on Twitter. Enjoy the video. To really understand how Mr. Beast became such a wanted man, we need to go back to where this all started. The first time Mr. Beast got into hot water was around 8 months ago when he posted a video curing 1,000 people of their blindness. I know, how dare he! Now after that comment was made, an interesting conversation took place on Twitter for the first time ever where people argued if it's moral to make content surrounding people's misfortune. Now I'm pretty sure all the insane asylums around the world handed their inmates phones, directed them to Mr. Beast's video, and said, go wild, because there are some fucking wild takes on this topic. Ultimately, the conclusion that was drawn from this for normal people was that while Mr. Beast did a great thing, eyesight shouldn't be locked behind a paywall. I think the only reasonable argument the Twitter people had is that the thumbnail is super ominous. I'm not sure if it's the soulless look in Jimmy's eyes that's making my body tingle, but SOMETHING is rustling my Jimmy's, and I know it's not the copious amounts of syphilis this time. Now, you would think that this concludes Mr. Beast's fight with Twitter, but there would be many more instances before and after this example where Jimmy would find himself under fire from Twitter's most brain dead. So now we've come to the question, how does Jimmy keep ending up on Twitter's radar? Well, I think the biggest reason Twitter always dogpiles on him comes from straight up jealousy. I feel like on Twitter there's a lot of people that like to be an armchair YouTuber and think they could do better for whatever cause they believe in. And when the money isn't being used towards what they value or what they think is important in their life, they make a shitty comment on where else the money could have been spent or how shitty Mr. Beast's antics are, which as I said earlier is fucking wild. One of the comments I always see whenever Mr. Beast posts a video is that if he made a video curing a thousand people's blindness, someone would have a brain dead comment like, why not 10,000? Almost judging him for what he's not doing because they don't consider what he is doing enough, which I think is crazy for a thousand reasons, but mostly one, it's not Mr. Beast's job to help these people. He's not forced to do any of the good that he does. And two, a shit ton of people got helped out anyway, so I don't understand what the problem is. I've never seen so many people complain about absolutely nothing in my lifetime, and I think it's absurd that people can make such a big deal out of a great thing. Now again, I will say, there is an argument when it comes to arguing about the morality around making content focused on people in bad situations, but I believe Mr. Beast's brand is different. This is his entire identity. This is what he does, which I think sets it apart from the type of content you remember from 2017 where some um random hype beast YouTube channel would just throw money or make it rain on a homeless man. But I don't think there should be any argument at all when it comes to the people that have been helped with Mr. Beast's life-changing content. 